Fitri. Namaste semuanya. Assalamualaikum Indonesia. Jadi siang ini guys, aku mau bikin Q&A sama Mama. Jadi pertanyaannya itu seputar kayak menantu dari negara luar gitu, kayak uh, kesan pertama Mama pas ketemu aku, gimana dia mutusin biar uh, aku layak jadi mantunya gitu. Jadi gitu aja. Aku punya beberapa pertanyaan, udah aku tulis di sini. Jadi nanti aku translate ke bahasa Indonesia soalnya aku bakal nanyain in English sama Mama, Mama juga bakal jawab in English. Pertanyaan pertama, what is your first impression about me when Shabba brought me home? Good, I like you because of your nature, good nature, soft spoken, cute. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, the second question is, why did you let Shabba marry me? Because I want to marry him. So when I saw you. I think you are a, a perfect person for him and for our family. Okay. Because of your nature, your good nature, your soft spoken, you are small and cute. What qualities do you think Indian parents look for their daughter-in-law? Qualities? Good looking, cute, soft spoken, and you won't take my, our son away from us. Not uh, create misunderstanding between parents and son. Next question, how was your experience been having a daughter-in-law from another country and cultural background? Good. Other background? Uh, I mean, uh, your experience about having me from another country and we have different cultural background. Good. You have any experience? You have, you feel something when different? When I met you, I think you are a good girl and in, from Indonesia, you are from Indonesia, so I think you are a good girl. Other country, I don't know. Okay. Only I know about Indonesia. So, Indonesian people are very good. When I met you, I thought Indonesian as Indonesians are very, very good. Okay. So yes. I like Indonesia. I like Indonesian food also. Oke, okay. <laughs> jadi mungkin karena Syabar sering bolak-balik ke Indonesia kali ya, jadi Mama mikirnya orang Indonesia tuh pada baik-baik, ramah-ramah gitu, makanya uh, dia mikirnya Indonesia itu bagus walaupun dia belum pernah ke sana. And next questions, in Indonesia many people think that Indian parents are very strict and in some cases they also very cruel. Cool. They have this opinions because of all these Indian TV shows that are famous there and show that there are mother-in-law as a negative uh, as a negative or dominating character. What is your opinion about it? Are Indian mother-in-law like that in general? I have a confidence on myself. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about other people. If I am good, then everybody is good. If I am not good, nobody will be good. Okay, so so I have confidence so in myself. What I do don't know about anybody else. You can uh, uh, have opinion, like give opinion in general? About in general, not everybody is bad. Some, in, uh, some person is bad all over, all over the world. Some are good. Every bad. Some is a bad. Ya, ya, right. Jadi, enggak semua orang di seluruh dunia itu baik dan enggak yeah. semua orang itu jahat. Jadi, di mana-mana itu sama aja gitu loh. Pasti ada yang baik, pasti It's ada yang... It depend on them only. How they are behaving with other people. Okay. Okay. And what 
is your idea about dowry in India? We have heard a lot about the Indian dowry system in Indonesia. Do Indian girls have to pay have to pay a lot of dowry to get married here? No, not at all. In India, there is uh, some states they are demanding the dowry. Mm -hmm. Not in Bombay, not in a big city. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, South South India and North India, there are some people who want dowry. Uh, so, in North and South, but just depend on that person. Yeah, right? just depend. Jadi tergantung orang yang enggak melulu orang di uh, India Utara dan India Selatan itu uh, harus pakai dowry gitu. Tapi tergantung pemikiran orangnya tersebut. Gitu. And Next question is what qualities do Indian parents look for their son-in-law if they have a daughter and they have a son-in-law from another country? What qualities do you want from them? Another country means uh, they want to from USA, from Australia, from Canada and uh, they want the uh, son-in-law to be not drinking, not smoking, and uh, not clubbing, good salary, good job, good parents, guys' parents, okay. and good nature for him, mm -hmm. smart, smart, yeah, good, uh, they have, uh, he has a good house, then uh, my daughter will, if he, our daughter will go there mm -hmm. to stay. They must have a nice house, nice, house. nice uh, in laws. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Jadi gitulah ya kalau misalnya mama misalnya punya anak cewek dan dijodohin. And he will keep my our daughter uh, very well. Okay. Jadi gitu kalau misalnya nih uh, keluarga India punya Uh, anak cewek dan dia mau uh, nikah sama orang luar negara yang cowoknya uh, uh, jadi begitulah teri, uh, kriteria yang mama inginkan kira-kira ya and next question is in India after marriage the, co the couple live along with the man's parents but in Indonesia they live separately or they live with the girl parents uh, some of them they live with the girl parents not all but live with the man parents is very rare in Indonesia so what do you think about that is that something uh, weird or something normal that is uh, their culture our culture is different because uh, our daughter is also going to live with their in-laws mm -hmm. so we want to stay um, our daughter-in-law with her mm -hmm. especially when we have got only son so okay. we want him to live with us okay what if if you have uh, in for example mommy uh, if you have only one daughter and that's it what, one daughter yeah one daughter and will you uh, take your uh, son in law to your house and live with them i will ask him to stay with us But when he will also, uh, one son of their uh, parents, how can he come with us to stay? Okay. So yeah. we, we won't force it. Okay. Jadi, uh, gitu It's ya, his gitu. choice. Yeah. But what if uh, they want to live separately? If after married, uh, your, your son or your daughter want to live separately, what do you think about that? Separately? If they want to live separately, so what we can do? We can't do anything. So just let it be. But I know you are not type of girl <laughs> who take my son to away from me. <laughs> That is why I like you. Yeah, because he told me before married. Time. Yeah, I also told him because I love him so much. I can't live without him. So, uh. What if uh, you have more than one son, like you have three sons? Yeah. Which son do you want to stay with you? 
Like first son, second son or third son? It is, it is not first, second or third. It is depend on him. If uh, first son is uh, good with me and his uh, wife is good with me, so I want uh, first son to be with me. If second son is good with, me, with us, so we like to him stay with us. Okay? It uh, depend on them. Jadi uh, itu tuh semuanya tuh uh, tergantung si anaknya sih ya uh, yang, Siapa yang mau milih tinggal sama orang tuanya Atau mau misah sama orang tuanya Orang tuanya juga nggak bisa maksa gitu loh Semuanya tergantung si anaknya masing-masing uh, The next question is What do Indian parents think about their daughter-in-law If they want to work Is it considered good, bad, or taboo? It depends on that If the parents are broad-minded, they allow their daughter-in-law to work. If they are broad, uh, narrow-minded, they want daughter-in-law to stay at home and do the housework. What about you? Do you let me? Like? I let him let you go outside and work. I'm not narrow-minded. Okay. I'm so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. And then that's it, the question for today. Jadi, thank you, Mommy, for answering my questions. Thank you, Beta. Thank you, Indonesia, <laughs> for watching us. Okay. Good night, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>